Hello, hello, hello. Top dog in the room. Top dog in the room. Room top dog. I'm the room top dog. One change is first. Yes. I wish he, like, wanted to fucking record. I mean, we probably could have asked him. We just I've, didn't. I've told him, like, every week to come. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, what, He'll always be he? like, what time? He's probably, like, in Brooklyn right now or some dumb shit. Well, that's what I'm always like. Are you? Do you happen to be in the city? You like, know what we should do? We should uh, see if he wants to come. And he could pick up the Cat's uh, Deli oh. sandwiches on the way. I was looking uh, on the train. Cat's Deli is only like an 11-minute drive from here. We could, the Lower East Side. We could, we could get it all the time. We could get it delivered one day, like maybe a Thursday, watching the game. You know, get a big platter of sandwiches. I'm down. We don't need snacks. Well, I, he, you can, but like... You just look you're not, disgusted. You're not sophisticated uh, enough for the sandwiches. You know, big, that's a big big progress for you. You know what I was thinking about? You know one time I got so drunk and stoned at your house I'd pass out? Yeah. Why? That's what you're thinking about? Like a Tuesday, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, I'm, right I'm talking now. about delicious deli meat, pastrami, and corned beef sandwiches, and you want to ruin it with that? It's have fine. you been to Cats? Of course, yeah. Or have you? I, I've definitely told it on my videos before, but one time Steve went to Cats. That Raja? I feel like I've heard this story. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll make it really quick. But we were out one night in the Lower East Side, and like in that area where Cats is, there's like there uh, hair of the dog is like right next to Cats. Basically, okay, it's that dog. it's that area where there's like five different bars, Pizza Beach and shit. Pizza and beach. We were all out. It was like a big group. We were at we had brunch during the day. So by the time we ended there, we were like all fucking zooted. And we kind of like split up because we were like a group of 10 people or some shit. And I remember Steve was like, yo, where are you guys? And I told him the name of the bar wherever, wherever we were at the time. And he's like, all right, I see the line for it, whatever. So he gets in line and he waits like an hour. <laughs> the line for cats. He waits in line <laughs> for an hour and he gets inside and they're like, Okay, what kind of sandwich <laughs> would you like? <laughs> he thought he was waiting in line for our bar and it was for oh Cat's Deli. God. I remember this, man. Yeah, uh-huh. it's, it's one what of my favorite stories. It's so good. That, the, the top, my top two favorite drunk stories of all time from anyone that I know, basically, is that's one of them. The other one is Josh Hong was so drunk that he tried to, instead of ordering an Uber, he signed up to be an Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> that's even better than Steve. Yeah, it's way Sorry. better. Yeah. Uh, that's incredible. Uh, that's awesome. um, yeah, so those were... Josh Hong, former uh, league member. Oh, yeah. Yeah, last place league member. Love what happens? Isn't that why you came, came I took his. I took yeah. his spot, yeah. yeah. Well, he he wanted out and I wanted in. I was already a co-manager with her. Uh, what was that punishment that he, like, he didn't do? He had to do the Shia LaBeouf like, reenactment video. Which was perfect for him. Yeah. We should actually bring that back. We never actually did it. I'm pretty sure he was the one. Yeah, but like that video's like eight years old. That's what makes it great. It's funny because you bring it back. I would like to do just a compilation of like Shia LaBeouf, just like things that he's done recently. I think we should. I love the idea. Great choice, by the way. Yeah. The fact. What was the other other movie? Charlie and the Chalk Factory. Really, I like, it, I Charlie Chalk is such a movie that, like, choice. you have to be flipping through the channels and, like, it just lands on there and you're cool right, to cruise so, with so it. So, I love Willy Wonka and Chalk Factory. Like, one of my favorite movies ever, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And I do love Charlie and Chalk Factory, so I watched that. Wait, hold up. Are Internet? you differentiating between the new one and the old one? Willy yes, Wonka and yes. Chalk Factory. Okay. So, Willy Wonka is the one. I love Willy Wonka. But love it. The old, that's the old one. The old yeah, one. Yeah, that one's yes. that elite. Yeah. elite. I think I have it on VHS. You should have asked me. Yeah. I don't even know where I put that right now. She said, I, I "But anyway, yeah. So holes, I want, and it is such a good movie. It's unbelievable. It's on HBO Max. Fucking idiot. What is Willy Wonka? Is it? Yeah. I only saw Charlie. And Charlie I can't believe they could format yeah. it for that. It's ridiculous. I so swear like, to God, I literally typed in Willy Wonka. Fuck HBO Max. What's cracking, big dog? Welcome, bike, to the Fade the Public podcast. My name is Nicholas. That's Mr. Snacks, and that is Mr. Animal over there. And uh, up, every Pussy? week, at this point, we can't have any anyone new rolling in, I feel like. but uh, We took a week vacation last week. Oh, we did because, uh, yeah, I got, well, as you all know, I spilled all over my fucking laptop. Got, <laughs> yeah. got a new one now, and we're ready to roll. Sometimes, like, yeah, I want to look at that bad boy after, by the way. I heard you talking good things about it. It looks incredible. like a, an incredible machine. Oh, new laptop? You got one? Yeah. Nice. They just dropped a new line, and I can't, like, talk about it anymore because I've talked about it in, like, the last five videos <laughs> I've made. Amazing machine. Animal? I'm what? just checking. I'm just checking. We're good. I hate when you do We're that. We're good. You get me super nervous. We're good. We're good. Um, Didn't you fuck that up one time? Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, made for a great piece of content. Yeah, though. it was good. And um, it was also when Jack was here, too, so we had, like, a guest. They're just real professional. Who? Jack? Eh, Remember Snapback Jack? Um, 
With love and respect, of course. What was I saying? Oh, I was introducing you. Yeah. Well, anyways, like, fuck our podcast, to be honest with you. I'm not doing any <laughs> more intro. Like, I get the actual intro. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to run through the E-Town Get Down as we always do, and Animal is self-proclaiming himself the top dog, even though he's not even first place. Well, no, no, so what I said was I'm the top dog in the room. Out of all the people in this room right now, I'm the top dog. Obviously, you know, Steve's not here right now. He's the top dog of the league. I'm the top dog of the room. Yeah, so one change is top dog in the league. We need to get him into the content more, honestly. Um, yeah, if he's going to keep this up, then Because yeah, if he's going to really be good, like, I want him to I want him to be in the content. If he's in, like, eighth place or ninth place or some matter. shit, that I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. care. Not that we need his insight. Well, let's like, see next week. We can see if we can get him on the show next week. Okay. Now that we have, a full, oh, okay. we'll we have a full week to that. figure it out. Okay, so last I'll week, last week phone. was just a shitty... Shitty, shitty week all around, for like in every, like, every single league of mine. I was just gonna say, I looked through all my leagues and I went through, and I think the average score was below 100 for most of yeah, like every dude, team. There was a lot brutal. of like 86 and Bro. like 92s and less than 100 points scored yeah, in I put many up leagues. Like 107 in a 12 teamer, <laughs> and that was like the second highest score. And I played the first highest score, so fucking pissed. Uh, like yeah, our so, high score, all right, 157. George went off, but that, uh, even even I, I was gonna say feels low for a couple of uh, quick before we get into like the recap. I mean, a couple of quick player notes. Um, James Conner is a legitimate RB one now. For right is. now, yeah. for right now, 100. percent Really like you know Benjamin. Um, I tried to pick him up in our dynasty league. I got up bid. Yeah. Uh, but James Conner, I believe I told someone last week to not start them. So I feel really bad about that now. Just want to get that. Want to get that off my chest. I mean, it was like Colt McCoy, their quarterback, James Conner. Yeah, but like know. James Conner is a guy who I I'm starting to really really like. I feel like it's obvious we yeah, could say it, say but like, like I was super against him going into the year. And he had so can- now I was. and he had cancer. So well, that was years ago. Yeah, my cancer was years ago too. So. And uh, other player notes. Odell Beckham currently not on a roster, but he might be by the he time you guys see this. He will be by the time you'll see. You'll see. We don't know. All right, let's guess make guesses. Let's make yeah. 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 So all the rumors, do you have a, the betting odds up yet? Has I do like not, no. It? No. I'm going to see if I can find it. I think. Well, well, be, I, I nailed I nailed Julio to Tennessee. I still have that clip. Yeah, but I also said that too. I just said it no, off didn't. show. You, you um, didn't say that on the I'm going to go with the. Like wishful thinking here, I would like him to be the Green Bay Packers because I have Aaron Rodgers and I have Odell, so it'd be a good stack for me. It's a, sh- it's a, it's a sharp move taking the betting. Well, I'm saying it would be a good stack for me. That's why I'm I'm taking uh, the Packers as my pick. Selfish asshole. Yes. What do you I think? It. What are you thinking? Okay. Well, I well, can you pull up a tweet Packers. here. Odell Beckham Jr. is on waivers today. Where will he play next? I take a look at the betting prop bet odds for OBJ's next team. My latest. On, oh, okay. Never mind. I thought it was from Bet Jack. It was. F- Scratch that. Uh huh. So you got nothing for the us. We- no, no, no. I have it up right now. But the website was called betjack.com. And I'm like, that's not. It like, can't be a real thing. It but it was the kid's right. blog. He's pulling the numbers oh, from oh, good the actual good place. Guy. Yeah. I like Jack. So this can't be fucking real. Um, oh, never mind. Fuck. It was a week ago. <laughs> Disregard again. <laughs> He's on fire right now. All right, Snacks right, so has got you, the you Patriots. Took the Packers, you took the Packers. I'm gonna. I'll say the Patriots. I knew it. I'm a sharp. Say the Patriots. There, there was always that Bill Belichick, Odell. They have like a. I don't know what sense it makes to me, but they seem to have like this mutual love. I have no idea. There's no yeah. odds between like. I mean, because it's, it's not it really does, that important. To me, it doesn't make any sense. Like, if you're Odell Beckham Jr. You sign the veteran minimum and go play with Aaron Rodgers opposite of Devontae Adams. Why the fuck would the why why was it like the Saints chirping like a thing? He's from Louisiana. I think so that so might I what, think though? that might be the reason. It's like a hometown thing, but yeah. like at this point, like to go play with Trevor Simeon. That's such a contradiction like, of yeah, yeah like what, is, what does he expect is gonna fucking happen? I completely happen? agree. And that's why I don't love my Say it Patriots again. pick, but what am I saying again? That you completely agree. I like the Patriots, so, I like the Packers. Um I don't want to spend all day on Odell, but... Neither do I. He's a fucking we, pussy. Excuse my language. I will go with the Packers as well. Trash. Uh, I mean, good pick. <laughs> Packers. How contrarian. Here's, here's what I... Here's, How contrarian are you guys? I was, I was just going to say Here's why. I mean, the Pats there. have the obviously the hottest rumors going around right now, but we do have a confirmed offer from the Packers yes. to Odell. 
a veteran is, minimum. Veteran minimum, Crazy. but that means like they're they're negotiating at least, right? Yeah. Like they the team wants him. They put money on the table. He's interested and in going out, there. De- Devontae Adams said in his press conference today. I saw that one for I had a, a he t- I was going to talk to him and yep. I was going to meme that up and be like this is, you know, 99% of fantasy analysis in today's world and <laughs> yeah. like that, but I think I like chose, it. I think uh, too much violence. Bing I think it's fantasy Twitter. We will recently. keep an eye on. He's obviously on my fantasy team, so I will definitely be keeping an eye on it. Wait, wait. Odell's on your fantasy team. Yeah. He's a loser. You know what that means. You may not even make the playoffs. I'm in second place, sir. Um, what, all right. What does that mean? Speaking of the playoffs, what does speaking that of. Mean? Speaking of the town get down. Uh, let's See, get look into. Look, look, look at Snack's segue right there. I'm back, baby. Yeah, week nine. Let's take yeah. a look at it. All right, Nick. Ew, ew. Wait, oh wait, time out, time out. Slipping snacks. I think we should start focusing our attention to slipping Nick. Hold on, you can't say. We just started with Nick. Eric would have beat both oh, yeah. of you guys this week too. Okay, be, if my aunt had <laughs> hold on, be my uncle. hold on. Nick keeps throwing this Eric excuse like he, Eric's real. got more points than you, and yeah. he's in last place. Yeah. I would have beat like you it this week. Matters. Too. Okay, but you didn't play at him. all. You didn't I said play him. You, me, yeah. everybody would beat me. Yeah, but I would have beat you. I said him. But I would have beat you. And you I'm said not, Eric would have beat me. I'm yelling at him. He's yelling at me. I'm yelling back at no, him. No, I'm just yelling. Because I Listen, like to yell. Here's um, the deal. That's how I emphasize here's the deal. shit. When your team sucks, you get the business. Now sit back and, and, and take it. And I'm going to take All right? it. All right? No, no, no. I want to make my excuses. Let's rip this shit. All right, yeah, fair. I want to make my okay. fucking excuses. That's fair. I love One, hearing these. This was uh, yeah, a very heavy bye week that I know everyone had a lot of bye weeks going. Here we go. Here we go. One excuse. Okay. the man stated. Tom, oh, wait, wait, Tom Brady, I, I, Chris put, Godwin, TJ Hawkinson. Up. Please. Go. Bye weeks. Tom Brady, Chris Godwin, TJ Hawkinson, somebody else. Immediately trade for Tua. Gets ruled out five seconds before the game. So I have to rip <laughs> Tyrod Taylor into my lineup who gets me eight fucking points. Eight um, solid, dude. I, that's eight this was good. the week that Devontae Booker and Melvin Gordon combined for 50 touches in his shitty-ass running back slots. Oh, disagree. Devontae Booker, great game. Anyway, go ahead. I love Booker. Stud. That's the point. Um, I, I think the excuse counters up to, what, seven? I mean, it's not enough, to be honest. What, there's some good, there's some good excuses in there. I agree. Like if if Tua plays, I probably I probably win that game. Let's talk about uh I mean, Corderell, Dalvin Cook wait, wait, both had on, one yard touchdowns called back. Also, I want to say something too. Yeah. Eric, going that deep, Eric gonna... also kept DeAndre Hopkins in with zero points. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, agreed. I was gonna I was gonna mention like, that. Let's like, I was gonna mention know. that, but also I'm really happy he just went to the touchdowns that got called back that's when you know it's bad when you're looking at like dude i had like potential yeah. touchdowns because that when you're in the middle of a, back. when you're in the middle of a fantasy well dalvin cook literally had a touchdown and then they re, they replayed it and then kirk cousins snuck it in on the next yeah, fucking play it happens. Like, yeah and you're like well, that yeah. happens to my team that's when you, but that, that's, that's, that's also when you know you're not winning yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when you're looking at that and you know like that's what you needed it's like i needed that touchdown so, yeah, that so specific i heard one. a ridiculous that like uh, dalvin cook started off red hot fire i'm like oh i'm about to get one of his 30 point ceiling games right he rips mm-hmm. off that 66 yarder in the first quarter he um he finishes the first quarter with 85 yards rushing i'm pretty sure by the end of the third quarter he had 83 yards that's so two quarters later, point. he has negative two yards on that. Yeah, that was uh, a weird game in general. Just between they the, they the Vikings and the Ravens. They scored 31 points Hook doesn't get in the end zone. That's, that's it's weird. It's definitely yeah. weird. Oh, he did get in the end zone. They unruly well, they called unruled it back. Well, he didn't get in the end zone then. Yeah. Well, all right, let's look at the bright Officially. side. So let's look at the bright side of your team moving forward. Jimmy G looks good. Okay, let's look on the fucking bright side. Jimmy G sucks. Chris Godwin. I mean, he's got you, 30, he got you 32 last week and 22 this week. You know it's not going to keep it up, though. No, it's not, not going to maintain. And San Fran keeps sucking like this. Trey Lance is coming in. Um, oh. Also, the, I didn't play Jimmy G last week when he had his 32-point game because he was coming off like nine, 11-point games. So that's, that seems Plus, like, like two is going to probably be my QB2 behind that, Brady. When that seems like a bottom. problem to me. It's fine. Mm. It's fine. Tua, don't let Tua get hot. Um, Joe Mixon's been a – he might be your best player on your team. He's been my best player. Yeah. I, yeah. I think – listen, I think – if we can get some health here, the upside between Cook, Mixon, and Patterson on a weekly basis makes me dangerous. For sure, but the yeah. problem is you're sitting in seventh place right now. Yeah, but that, to me, that doesn't matter, Animal. I mean, me either. It does. Because, because, it does. Because the I'm, third I'm, and fourth place team are both five and four. four. And yeah, you but, guys are like 20 points ahead of me. But you it's are really not yeah, No, it's right it's there. Not, yeah, right. It's not at a, It's five weeks left. They're 20 points ahead and one game ahead. I would say, I would say looking at the league right now, and I, I don't even want to say it, but... There are two teams, just record-wise, that I would say are out of the playoff picture right now. Everybody else, fair game. Grit and Eric? Yeah. 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 
Yeah, if you're three and six only, right they're now. They're only two games back, and I was two games back last there. year with four weeks to go, and I won the whole thing. But, like, Shane... Yeah, look, the league is very close in the middle, but I think the problem is... Wow, Shane's lost three in a row. Jeez. My, my, my concern is... That, like, Nick has other concerns with his team. We have the, the Cook and the Godwin news back-to-back just not make good. me really, not, really yeah, not ideal. Yeah, but it's I do too have much Madison, mystery. So it's to, almost like I just need Cook either to, like, go to jail or I need Cook or they need to drop that shit. Let him yeah, run through. So how... It out. Right, so just in looking at the standings, we all agree that George's team probably doesn't last. It could. He won't keep this up. No, he's on a two-game winning streak. Yeah, like those flex, like the he's flexing Hilton and Kirk. Yeah, it's like he got really lucky because Connor is about to be a player. Yeah, forty fucking thirty-eight points. Like, what is he doing putting Hilton in his lineup over Emmanuel Sanders on the bench or Javante Williams or, or, or hey, Tony's on a Tony's bye? On but a bye. yeah, I don't know. It's ugly. That's what and I'm then, saying. Like and those then are you got, you got you got Larry whose team is good. He's got a lot of upside though, dude. Because. Herbert and Tan. I feel like Tannehill's going to have some games where he goes fucking off the rest well, of the He year. has to now with no Derrick so. Henry. Yeah. Him and A.J. Yeah. Brown together are yeah. going to have some big games. He's got well, I like the Herbert rushing together. touchdown upside now for Tannehill. Get like a couple of fucking yeah, yeah. Couple of rushing touchdowns that Derrick Henry probably would have gotten. Yeah. So I don't I don't think Georgia, Georgia – the problem with Georgia is he's, he's like the one guy that's pretty far back in points. So it's going to be hard for him to get the, to clasp a playoff spot with all of us having records. Do we – okay, so now I'm just looking at – do we sneakily worry about Jason Seam? He's – McCaffrey comes back. He gets healthy, yeah. Yeah. What else we got? Um, we'll go to my, we'll go well, to my so Let's go to Snacks matchup here. Okay. The ugliest week. matchup. Wait, you guys are done with my excuses? You don't want any more? Well, the, the yeah. Count, the I mean, counter I feel already like exceeded its... Uh, I'm, starting to, screen. I'm starting to feel bad at We're this point. A, a second YouTube channel to keep them on. The it's screen. unbelievable how much I should have won this fucking matchup. It's crazy. No, you didn't. You put up 103 points. You didn't deserve to win. I mean, Derek Carr at 13, which I love because... Tyrod Taylor wishes he had their huge, fucking points. Huge Giants win. Great week for us. Great week for us. Great yeah, week dude, for us. you caught Josh Allen on a on a fucking twelve I know, point game. I know. I still couldn't win. Rough city. That's tough. Yeah. That's Justin really Fields tough. almost pulled it off for me too. Need a little bit more time. Boston Scott, rough scene for you. You you. And who was I going to play? You, I think you just go away from the Philly backfield, dude. Oh yeah, no, I know. Get away from. I that. know. Well, who was I going to play? Julio Jones. If I, it, it wouldn't have mattered. I would just bench them. Wouldn't have mattered. <clears throat> I told someone I loved Jacoby Myers. Dalton Schultz played with fucking... Uh, I guess Dak was bad. <laughs> Why? I did. I really I did. I remember on the underdog stream. I don't think you said you loved them, but you like randomly well, were like, this is the week I think he gets into the end zone. I'm just like... Well, <laughs> yeah, one, you know what one catch. <laughs> you know what actually really hurt me? And it's... Like, no offense, being out with COVID really hurt. Because I yeah. played Jacoby Myers, who got 1.3 points. And I said it. Me and Max. We're wait, wait, wait. I have, sorry to cut you off. I have one more really good excuse about why I should have won. <laughs> Counter. So, with Noah Fant being out, this is why I brought it up. Oh, I Allen. needed to pick up a tight end. And he because I had TJ Hawkinson on by, and my first waiver claim that I didn't get, I put $0 bid. Larry beat me for Pat Fryermuth on a zero dollar bid, which is why I put that screenshot That's in our right. chat. Because yeah. had he not, had he not oh, beat me out for the zero dollar wow. bid, he would have been my starting tight end. I would have won that yeah. game. Yeah. Wow, that's Fire another one. game. Two touchdowns. Like, run it back. That yeah. sucks. That one's like a legitimate shitty, shitty one. Thinking about shit like that. It's just the way the cookie Maybe crumbles. You, put a dollar you know what's cool though? That you had the I, opportunity that was the trade. So I don't think trade. I had. You had the opportunity to put a claim in on a player. So that's something that you should. Uh, but I be said happy so. With. So before before we started. What do you mean we, I had the opportunity to put in? It's just good, you know, when you have, like, before actual waivers. We were, before we recorded Bagels and Locks last week, which, by the way, the last three weeks, me and Animal are 15-3. and three. There is no hotter You'll gamblers love to see it. on the fucking internet right now. I wasn't even kidding when I tweeted that. Like, is it the best gambling show on the it internet? It has to be. Myself and my partner over here, Mr. Snacks, we both went 3-0, combining for a total of 6-0 and for the show. Uh, very good. I believe our underdog props also hit. 2-0. They ruined. ruined the record books, but you know whose records aren't ruined? Mine at sixteen and eight, yeah, uh-huh. and snacks. Who's finally at five hundred at a nice uh, twelve and twelve? I'm piping hot, baby. Because most I mean, family shows are terrible. First I mean, of all, first of all, it's funny. Record second wise, all, we're, yeah, we're pretty good. I'd second say. Second of all, we're crushing it. Yeah, like com- combination of, of all he's the value set, points. He's I mean, seven and what, you're seven and I'm nineteen and nine yeah, on the year. Your overall record's awesome. I started yeah. six and twelve, and now I'm eight and one in the last yeah. three weeks. It's and cold. we're on, we're red hot. Yeah, but anyway, so I was saying I got to start Jacoby Myers with no fan out. It's like, oh, I think he's going to score. 
like, please don't say that. Remember that? <laughs> like, please. I was all that. over that. Yeah. It was like plus two twenty. Sure enough, one point three points. Hasn't scored an NFL touchdown. I thought it was but due. Like Derek Carr has been good for me for like twenty points. He scores thirteen and a half. Like you know, is is a terrible game. That was a Giants. Jones, I need more Giants of Aaron gift. Jones. Need more of Aaron Jones. Yeah, I Aaron, knew Aaron Jones. It just seems like one of those things where you just. It's been like five unlucky weeks in a row, you know. Like yeah, I know. once they get Aaron Rodgers settled down, like I'm not That's really what worried I think about too. it. I'm, I, I'd like if your trade deadline is still open, I'd buy him. I would go get Aaron Jones. Jones, yeah, yeah. you could trade target. Right I now. would go get him right now. They're gonna sell him low, so you take him, take him. But okay. I knew he was in for a, a stinker with Jordan Love because Jordan Love is an atrocity of a quarterback. Yeah, I don't it wasn't know what good. they were thinking with all it wasn't that. Wasn't good. But like five point three points, that's that's a killer. You can't give me eight. And win the game. But, yep, tough matchup. Can't do it. I fall from the second spot to the fourth spot. But, <clears throat> so let's go to your matchup, Animal. I had a gift. I had a gift from Larry. You did um, have a gift. Obviously, you know, uh, a lot of things went my way. My team did not actually do that great. But Larry's team did worse. And that's all that matters. He had a uh, fire move game, a little scare on Monday night. Yeah. yeah. With the two touchdowns. I knew it was going to be close, but... Uh, we still came out with it. He had Colton McCoy in his super flex, and he switched for Daryl Williams. Yeah, that was, bad. and that's what did it for him. That's what that's what was, that was I mean, an Allen's call. I can understand the thought process. Like, wow, really look at the defensive battle you guys had. Yeah, dude, I was so yeah. pissed when I for saw New England, seventeen for Miami. It was the well, first wait, wait, week wait. my defense did really well, and I saw his Mike, defense Mike Williams matching that's it. Officially, like a, it's dead, right? I guess so. Um, kind of seems like it's dead. Yeah. What do you mean? I don't think he's, it's just. We'll see. Give it time. Max, it's been like four weeks now. Give it time. Give it time. Four, he got hurt. I mean, you still start him, but like... You have to start him. You have no yeah. choice. She. Sorry, go ahead. No, he'll be all right. Um, my biggest issue right now is my quarterbacks. My quarterbacks are kind of a disaster. Uh, you started big uh, 2.05, Taysom Hill. Yeah, so I was going to get to that. Yeah, what was that about? <laughs> I was fucking moron. <laughs> I had no one else to start. You're, are you? T- wait, did you grab Teddy B after? You, why did you not start Robert... Teddy B was my QB one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My quarterbacks are yeah, shot. How do you not start? Ro- I mean, you Rogers so really matter, was on COVID right? protocol. No, Woods, I'm talking about Robert Woods. Oh, that's that was the one thing I, I would have done. But Woods yeah, was like banged yeah, up. Yeah, Woods over. I feel like Herbert or Hill. Herbert. Yeah, I wouldn't have started Herbert against Pittsburgh or Hill. Yeah, dude, that made Taysom Hill not being. I mean, I guess it didn't matter because you ended up winning. But like, <laughs> dude, yeah, my, are you gonna, how are they going to announce Trevor <laughs> Smith as the starting quarterback? Because I'm watching the pregame and they're telling me like. Trevor's going to get the start, but Taysom is expected to get a ton of work. And I was like, all right, he'll probably get some goal line carries. All I need is him to get, like, one touchdown and, like, throw two balls, and I'm good. Yeah. And, like, he did none of that. Did none of it. None of that. Dude, Robert Woods he went looked, two for two, though. Robert Woods has been, like, a top five fantasy yeah, been, wide receiver the last, yeah. like, six weeks, I feel like. Well, he was hurt, so I benched him. <laughs> was he hurt? When the fuck was he hurt? He was, like, not practicing on Friday. But, like, well, he only got ten targets. So it he seems must, like he a... must have been really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen. Dan Arnold was a great pickup for you. By yeah, the way. it was huge. I also, finally got a tight end that also, scored some points. Also, I'm pretty sure, uh, can't verify that. Well, you can, but like, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I, I'm almost positive the day that you picked him up, I also had a zero. You dollar. did. Yeah, you're right. And you beat I me off that it. one, yeah. too. This is the story yeah. of the fucking. You worried about Zeke? Fucking bullshit. I, he hasn't done shit all year. I don't yeah, even care about it. I feel like he's not even on my team. That's true. <clears throat> Fuck Nick that Chuck guy. should be okay for next week. My best running back has like, been the guy I've been putting on my flex spot every week. Like, Kenny yeah, Drake was my best. this week? Yeah, I, sure? I would think. I mean, I don't know. Is that, is he the, test positive, or was he just a close contact? No, he he tested positive. Yeah, I don't think he's playing, dude. Yeah, dude. sure about that? I'm pr- probably sure. I mean, yeah, dude, if you test positive, you're not gonna test negative within like two days. That's how it works. I don't think he's gonna play either. Or, um, I mean, if you want to get to my matchup? Yeah, we could do it. He did test. Po- okay, all right. So he tested positive for COVID. You know what's crazy about it's this? Still, but it, it remains positives. unclear at this point because he's vaccinated. If I guess if the he, protocol if is, he get, yeah. He, Test negative two times in like a forty-eight hour stretch. The, the yeah, problem is no no that once you have COVID, though, like you continue to test positive for a long ass time. I, I get, I know. Week ten, we got some big matchups on the board. Let's start with the number one top dog in the room, me. TV. Uh, <laughs> me versus George. Kind of a weird uh, projection here. <laughs> projection I'm projected. Right now, Jordan's absolutely cursed. <laughs> to Holy lose. Shit, uh, it's 95% in favor of George. I've never Why seen a projection this wild. Such a high well, score he's got Jordan Hill Howard with 4.1 points in his lineup. Well, I'm more looking at George's projections uh, being so high with a yeah. shitty lineup. 
Like, why is every single player really projected actually, 15 points or more almost? Like, like Hilton they have T.Y. Hilton nine Hilton, points? Hilton and Kirk, Hilton and Kirk by themselves should not allow you to have a 155-point projection. Hilton and Kirk, fun. Yeah, that's Well, honestly. But, like, Lockett, 12 and a half, 13. Like, he, like. Well, Russell's back. Yeah, but, like, still, even when Russell's there, uh, like, to just straight up project Kittle for, like, 16 is a little outrageous. But George is projected for 154 points. Like, I don't know if he's, it's, like, the first time he's ever scored that was last week. Well, that's week. what I mean. Like, everything needs to be shaved off, like, a point, probably. Yeah. Um, so I'm not looking good this week. We'll see what happens. Holy shit, your quarterback situation is really I've got a, a quarterback problem, and I've got a, a Nick Chubb problem right now, and a Zeke Elliott problem. So i got a running back and a quarterback problem. If you lose this week, you may be dead. Um, no, I wouldn't say that, but it's going to be a, it's gonna uh, be a the battle. The ending of this league is going to be incredible. It really yeah. it, That's the one thing about it right now. Everything is so tight-knit. It's going to be a blast. This is Yeah, this is going to... For sure, be the best finish. Ever. Um, all right, so Actually, I mean, it will never beat Animal losing the playoff spot. To it, it's LA. still one of the greatest. Oh, still one of the greatest. Se- well, was no, that that's Chris, the Chris Carson game. No, that was um, the Jared Goff and Mitch Trubisky combined all for right. negative like one point, <laughs> which is fucking insane for two starting oh, quarterbacks. Of, dude, Scott Fishbowl. I was like seven and one heading into this week. And I was three and I left one. Half and I've my lost. Lineup blank. I only started like four guys. <laughs> I was three and one. And I've, so lost, I've lost every game since. I ended up losing by like twelve points. That's awesome. Yeah, it's fucking so stupid. Good. That's what, that's what you I'm get. Never joining. All right. So game. I mean, right now, I that, I don't even know how to handicap this this matchup. Animals. Yeah. Yeah, dude. There's uh, I mean, don't, there's there's not even that. anything to talk about on it. It's kind of a disaster for me. I might. <laughs> it's got that goal line upside, you know. All right. Uh, we'll look at Snacks' matchup then. This is probably the matchup of the week. You versus Lunch, yeah. yeah. This is a good one. It's a big matchup because Lunch is looking for, for a bounce back, and so are you. Oh my. So this is uh, this is some pretty big stuff here. Well, this could be big for you because I, I love my matchup. Kyler is that. super 50-50. Right? I was just going to say, yeah, what's the status? Like they're, they're they with, might sit him again. They're playing with house money because they took yep. that dub, so yep. I would be surprised. And, and they're playing sucks. at home against Carolina, right? P.J. Exactly. Walker, yeah, their defense can win that game by themselves. I yeah. like, really good chance, I like a lot of I would say they're probably going to rest Kyler, but even then if they rest Kyler, like I think, does he not have Cole McCoy anymore? He has Lawrence and Taylor Heineke. Did he drop Colt McCoy? <laughs> I might How pick bad him do up. you want him right now? Dude, I'll pick Colt McCoy up right now. I could totally start him this week if he starts. Over fucking Taysom Hill? I, I truly So he's got Kamara. <coughs> Here's the thing, though, too. <laughs> Kyler hurt. Kamara apparently Kamara hurt. Kamara just on the injury report, yep. Uh, I like Damian you with Harris. Russ coming back. I like you a lot this week with yeah, Russ coming I back. Yeah, I you take this dub, too. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, every, everything looks good. Like, like fans, uh, he's on track to play. He plays a miserable Philly defense. Evans without Godwin, maybe. He's got actually awful matchups. Yeah. I've, and mine I, are really good. Even I like, like the ones that week. are in green, like Mike Williams. Minnesota's yeah. sneaky good defense. You Debo, know De- you know Derek Carr lights up Kansas City every fucking time he plays. Debo him. versus the Rams. Like, he also not just had a, a bad matchup. game. Terrible matchup. Heineke versus Tampa Bay is not great, but like Tampa Bay is going to... Game script probably is going to get him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like you a lot this week. I think you actually blow out Larry. Yeah, I think that's... Would be nice. Happens. And then I, I would fish officially complete the web of the storm of my two big injuries. That would be big. All, all right. right. Let's look at my matchup. The biggest one of them all. This is honestly like... This is huge. This is huge because if you lose, you're you're done. Yeah, probably. This is it. Because you're both I four and five. So. I yeah, do. I actually don't agree either. I, I feel like we actually so. have been saying that every week. I've been saying it every like, week, damn it. Since like week six, yeah. <laughs> I can easily... See, okay, but... And I hate to bring up last year, but you could easily sneak in... Yeah. What, what? I guess it would be eight and seven now or... Yeah. Fifteen, yeah. Yeah. It happened last year. I, I I was dead in the water. I was in like eighth place. Yeah. So One okay. So right. we'll, we'll we'll look at a few things here. Um, I guess my biggest concern besides Godwin. Yeah, I mean Godwin's obviously a concern. Um, Put Claypool. Man. <coughs> Claypool like pulled his groin in that game. This last game. Really? Yeah, he yeah, sucks. I I didn't get to. He watch also him. yeah, he's also been fucking terrible. terrible. Yeah, yeah. And Ben's hurt too again. It, it, that Pittsburgh offense is just. It's- it's, bad. it's anemic. You know, it's everything bad. runs through Najee. So it's, it's like anemic. Claypool will get three opportunities a game. So if you don't pull down like a 60 yarder, he's trash. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about Zach Moss is in the concussion protocol? I don't like Devin Singletary. But I love like, it. But if Zach Moss is out, he like, might have to Singletary be, he might might have to be the play. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. Jets, the game script's going to be so good. Yeah. I picked him up a few weeks ago to have him on my bench, on my bench for like a depth uh just to hold him, and then like I had to, to, say, like, <laughs> had to drop him, right there. had to drop him real quick. Yeah, but yeah, I put in claim for him and Devonta Freeman, so I honestly might be rolling <laughs> on him and Freeman. I like Freeman Thursday night against Miami. Yeah, I think the running backs got a ton of touches. They're not I, like Tua is my other concern too. I don't want to start Jimmy G against the Rams. I'd rather start Tua. That's a good game to start Jimmy G the, though. The ra- 
I think I he'll dis- be fine. No, I disagree. The fine. Ravens' defense is atrocious. The Ravens, they're such yeah, a but so, I just don't trust two to play on this too short of a. I don't do, think do, he's going to play. Yeah. But how, oh, to, oh, to actually play? Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't think Brian he's going to play. Flores said like yeah. Monday, if we were playing today, he wouldn't play, which is like, yeah. okay, yeah, in two days he's not going to turn Yeah, so two days is I different. I made the trade and then fucking, I guess it's kind of eye for eye because I gave him Edmonds too, but yeah, it's shitty. Um, so I guess Jimmy G will be my second quarterback, but my flex spots are. See, my, my flex spots, I don't mind them because it's not like where George's are like Hilton and Kirk. Right. Mine at least have like a, I feel like a high range of outcomes. Like Beasley, Freeman, I feel like, and Singletary probably have ceiling games in them, you know, if, if things break right. Yeah. I mean, it, Cole Beasley could easily go for a target machine, 15 targets. It depends where, what Dawson Knox is up to. Since Dawson yeah. Knox has been out, Beasley's seen like 10 targets a game. But when Dawson Knox is there, he doesn't do shit. Yo, I picked up Dawson Knox. Hope he fucking. That was a good pick. I wanted to, but I didn't have room. I hope he fucking can do something. Um, all right, so, so and Cole feel Beasley about, didn't how practice. How do you guys feel about the matchup? Uh, I I like Jason's team a little bit more this week. Obviously, I think your team is completely dependent on Tom Brady, and like if Tom Brady's gonna throw four touchdowns or not. Because I think the rest of his team is very balanced. I think he's gonna get a nice. I solid also think Jason's team depends a lot on what McCaffrey does too. Yeah. At Arizona, this feels like. Yeah, but Jason hasn't had McCaffrey all year. That's true. So like I'm looking more at like I think I, I, like I'll Lenny never, Fournette is a bigger part Josh of his Jacob. team right now than fucking McCaffrey. Yeah, Leonard Fournette. Like Fournette needs to get his 18, 19 points for uh for Jason to have a, a good uh, you shot. You could also here. call me crazy here too, and but they're in the the lineup. Both those defenses could very well go off. Oh, oh Bills the Jets? the Jets. Yeah. yeah, like they could both very well go off. I've, yeah. I I've, I've I, I actually prefer the Steelers. The Steelers because they're at yeah. home against Detroit. Yeah, and yeah. the Jets offense actually look pretty good. So yeah, my, I, I would if I could choose one, I'd probably take the Bills defense. But mm, I don't know both about them that. Are good I'm, I would definitely take the for this week. I would take the Steelers. Yeah, maybe. Um, Gis- and you, you know what, Gesicki looks good too. Yeah, he's getting a lot of he's getting a lot of passes. Does Diggs uh, erupt like sooner or later? That's that's the that's the scary part about his lineup. Diggs, I feel like can go for he, he's like so due two yeah, touchdowns exactly. So right. it's a two touchdown game for Diggs. That could be big. and, an, that and could be like an exciting a factor. and like a very, two catch game well for Beasley. Be. If I start very Beasley well or Singletary, be. like that'll that'll yeah. probably be the difference maker there. Yeah, Diggs I mean, gonna Dal- have two Dal- touchdowns. Dalvin Cook, I think, is gonna have a big game. He's gonna run angry. Dalvin Cook like hasn't done. He shit. might, but I understand that. But after all this shit, he's he's gonna run angry. You gotta realize his run defense is awful too. Jason's got Kirk Cousins, so like if if Dalvin Cook can get rushing touchdowns, it's huge. If not, if they're receiving, it doesn't matter. Like I think this is this that is matchup's better for me though against the Chargers. I yeah, I, I favor Jason's team in this, and I'm a sharp. So yeah, <laughs> makes me feel pretty good, honestly. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. As it should. Well, I mean, Stafford's banged up, got a foot or ankle injury, but he's, fine. he's a quarterback, so it won't matter. He's gonna throw for like 350 against the Niners. Yeah, yeah, like he's starting McKissick in one of his slots. I don't think he's gonna keep that. I I, I would hope not. Who's gonna put Bateman? Oh, yeah, I'd got, probably pay Bateman. He's got over him. Honestly, I'd actually, buy, I might put Higby. Higby. Yeah. Yeah. Elijah Moore's not a bad choice either. He sucks, though. So that's pretty much it for the for the E-Town get down, I'd say. I guess that covers the the matchups from last week and the matchups that are coming up. Um, do we have a snacks pantry for today? We do. Do we have any other housekeeping? I was just trying to get to that. I was trying to figure out. I don't know if there's anything else um, noteworthy. Uh, we should look at uh, the Thursday night, Monday night football games, though, and figure out another stream sure, date. Yeah. Um, because I would, I would like to do that cat's deli thing. Okay. I really can't get, that. Some can't, I can't get it out of my head. Yeah. Or beef. I haven't had it in a minute. I'd be, I'd be super mad. It's fucking, it's good. It's real good. Right, Snacks? I you love cats you cats wouldn't know. You don't fucking eat a young cultured nah, I feel bitch. Like Snacks is a cat's deli guy. He probably like, takes I, off half the meat. Probably, like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, 100%. Like, fucking with his fingers. He, he, right before he dives in, he complains about how he can't fit his mouth around yeah. the sandwich or some shit. So Rams, Cardinals, boom. 12. 12 13. I uh, know Cardinals again. Well, I mean, go look at the Thursday Monday night games. I mean, just, they ain't good. Just grow up. Uh, you'll find a game. I, I'm the one looking, you dumb fuck. By the way, you look awful. I don't feel good. You look awful. Yeah. Was it from the pizza you ate two nights ago? Dude, I had a, that was a tough night, but like, um, yeah, I've just been like, I just. How are the Rams you know Cardinals is? not the one we're going to do? Yeah, I'm about as mobile as this fucking beanbag chair. I literally don't move anymore. Cardinals. Ugh. Oh, just, those are bi-weeks. Just rotting away. We did away. the Cardinals already, yeah, but. Yeah, that's bi Just dying slowly. Yeah, no one even cares. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at fucking Monday Night Football matchups. 
You literally told us to. She dumb fuck. Dude, these are bad. Yeah, Rams Cardinals is like the only fucking well, option. Let me hear. Rams Cardinals week's 14. What else we got? I don't feel like going back and doing it again. Right, I'll figure Chiefs it Chargers out. week 15 could that's be good. That's a good division matchup. That's, that's Thursday night, 12 16. Yeah, that, fuck with that. You know what? That's probably. Let, let's pencil that one in. I fuck with that. That's a good one. You know what it is? Because all the teams that are good, like, should have had good quarterback more, players. I would look more into, like, fantasy relevance than fucking. Yeah. That's what we're. Yeah. In games. Well, like, Cardinals is no fantasy relevance. How is there. What? None. Just Kyler. Like, who else has, like, Cardinals players? Kyler, James Conner. Yeah, but no one has them. Yeah, he's kind of, Nobody has them. Right. You're right. You're right. People play fantasy and no one has those guys. Vikings, like the Chargers are big players. After New Year's. And the Chiefs have big players. You know, the big time. Emma, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You don't get what I'm I saying. You're an idiot. idiot. You're an idiot. Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, Patrick Mahomes, three big players. Yeah. Okay. Kyler, DeAndre Hopkins. Hurt. It's in three weeks, you dumb fuck. Hurt. You know what? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the pantry? Let's get to the pantry and let's fucking wrap it up. All right. Skirt. Top five color rush unis. All right, ready? Chargers, powder blue. Uh, Chargers, Vikings, Steelers, Giants away, one all white. And um, I decided not to put the Giants in. Oh. Even sure. though it's very sexy. And you know it, it's nice. Okay. It's, so it's color like, rush. It's, clean. it's color clean. rush. Color rush, yeah. Right. So powder blue is not color rush. No. You, what exactly is color rush? The Thursday the night. They were on Thursday nights. They used to have them on. The Steelers black and gold one it's, is so I, sick. I knew this was going to be tough. So the Buccaneers want, cream. If you like, want to pull? No, it's up. the throwback. See, that's not color rush. The it's, it's Atlanta like all black. All right, that's all right. okay. See, color rush. You, this is not. Are you not a fan rush. of the so NFL, my man? So you could look. Do you not know what color rush jerseys? I know you're he, asking me that like you didn't know the answer. He's a six sadistic fuck, so I know he knows everything. I don't know the fucking difference between every fucking jersey. That's what I'm saying. Type in color rush uniform. All right, so then that's cheating. Then I'm just gonna look down and be like this one, this one, this yeah, one. Well, so but here's it's the my deal. List. It's not in order. Uh, yeah, the Chargers that... have really nice color rush uniforms. They're bl- they're dark blue. Chargers are number three. Dark navy. Yeah. Okay. Chargers, Chargers are number three. The Vikings have really good ones too. Purple and yellow. I don't know I if you have purple, them. so I didn't put. Well, them. you're an idiot. Uh, the, the other that. purple one that I, I like, Barney, though, I the Ravens. Had a, Bills red is number four. Bills red is the ugliest color rush uniform there is. I love the Bills red. It might be the ugliest. I love it. Do you re- color Maybe rush? I'm biased. Maybe I'm biased, but. All right, Nick, how about this? You remember this? The color rush uniforms were basically made famous because of the Bills versus Jets game where the Bills wore red and the Jets wore green. And, and were, people yes. who yeah. were colorblind were very upset see it. because yeah, they yeah, couldn't yeah. see. Yep. Yeah. They didn't know who was who. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's actually hilarious. It is hilarious. Oh, some Chargers of, three, some of these are four. fucking ugly. Oh, and yeah, I kind of want to say them just to piss snacks off. They're brutal. <laughs> um, well, the Seahawks are terrible. I was gonna I say, actually love the Seahawks. I was going to say the Seahawks, and I was like, Snacks probably loves this. I one. love them. They're terrible. They're not top five, though. The, uh, the Rams yellow were some of my favorites. Yep. And the, uh, the Jaguars mustard... Uh, Jaguars mustard. <laughs> Weren't those a color rush? Yeah. So what, what, do, what do we have so far? Oh, the actual list, I have no idea. We're just talking color rush. So, yeah, honestly, at this point, there's really... <laughs> the Broncos. Broncos are five. I, I'm just going to go down. The Broncos had the sickest Broncos, helmets. It, it, it was Broncos, char- uh, Bills, Chargers. Um, Chargers powder blue. Uh, no. Rams or Falcons? No, I forget number two. Um, Some pantry. Well, no, the pantry's dead. And then uh, number yeah. number one was uh, was the Steelers. Yeah, Steelers is the best. I think Steelers have the best color rush. Oh wow, yeah the the mustard is fucking terrible. It's awful. The Jaguars mustard it's brutal, brutal. Blake looks good in it though. The uh, the purple well, I'm and looking gold. at has Devonta Freeman in the Falcons. I'm psyched about it. You see the Todd Gurley yellow uh, Rams one sick. Yeah, the navy blue. Let's it's see. Dope. The, 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 like the, to me, the actually the Panthers are pretty nice too. Yeah, the Panthers are nice. All light blue like that. The Titans are nice. Oh, that was it. Titans? No, number two is the Niners. I'm, Do a, that big again. I'm a big fan of that all. Uh, well. Your discovery of like what you found out there. Were the Niners Ooh. the... Nah. Were the Niners the all black ones? How am I going to recreate that? You can't. It was just pure, can't. pure natural. You can't do it. You really don't like the fucking Port Ravens? Fucking no, I do. It's just I'm, I'm not. I don't, I don't like love the, the Barney. Used to, Barney used to be one of my boys. And then he like fucked me. Yeah, Barney is one of my boys. Some character. Um, yeah, I used to love Barney. All right, so all in all, terrible uh, pantry. Um, well, it but really, it really wasn't a pantry. You, you said we're just going to talk about color rush. Yeah. 
Well, no, you said we were going to do... I had a list, yeah, but everybody was just going, this one, this one, this one. Well, it's because our man over here didn't even know what the hell they were, so... That's why I said we shouldn't do it. I knew what they were. We, uh... I I think they should bring them back, basically, what we're saying. Yes. Because of what we're trying to get to, because they don't have them this year. The Bucks all red? What do you think of those? Those are nice. Yeah, I agree. I I think the biggest problem with the color rush uniforms were, um... Dolphins all orange suck. The socks. They didn't need to have the socks be the same color. It was too much. If you just made the socks... The secondary color, or half and half, like a red and white, or a all white instead of all red, it's just too much. Yeah, that's true. where they did it wrong. So NFL, if you're watching this, next time you do color rush uniforms, uh, don't don't make the socks the same part, same color. Don't make them part of the color so, rush. Uh, so so this list that I'm looking at online has the the Falcons at 24, and I actually really like their color. Dude, it look the, yeah. the all red. That that's the one I was looking at with that's Devonta not, Freeman. Yeah, right? That's nice. Yeah, yeah the same way. And the lines is nice too. Yeah, the honestly, all black they're all kind of. Some of the color rush uniforms are do the Dolphins. All oranges were pretty sick. Yeah. Um, I don't like orange. The Bengals, uh, white ones with the white like stripes were pretty I don't sweet. Think the Ravens were top five, number twenty-seven. On what? Side. I didn't say top five. Idiot! I said they're nice. But the, the gold. Redskins are by far the worst. I like those. Or football team. The yellow. They need to change that name. Like Washington soon, football team. It's, it's getting annoying to say. I love it. I like the name, but I hate saying it. Like the, the Washington football team, like the every Packers time color. Rush I just say a football like team now, and everyone knows. All right. Either know. way, the whole point of the thing was we want color rush back. So I don't. Yeah, that's, that's where we tried to go with all that. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Well, fuck you. All right, all right. snacks. All right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Watch all the videos. Enough. Thumbs up. <laughs> Big announcement. Hmm. Well, it's not an announcement. I'm just telling you. Sunday morning, watch bagels and locks. The best gambling show on the internet. 15-3 and three combined between me and Adam over the last three weeks. Not going to lose another game the rest of the year. Probably go undefeated. Might. At this Might. point. The confidence level is through the roof. Thank you. Love you. Enjoy your Friday. Go get drunk. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to. I already am. <laughs> <laughs>